Hello, preschool friends. Happy Thursday. Here's our uh, daily book time. And our special guest is Bambi. We're going to read a book today. Oh, she's excited. She says, yay, I love books. I love books. Okay, lay back down now. <laughs> today, I know. <laughs> today, our book is Rory the Dinosaur Wants a Pet. And Bambi wants all of the attention. And this book is written and illustrated by Liz Climo. Okay. All right. Okay, sit crisscross applesauce, please. <laughs> Rory the dinosaur wants a pet. Rory is so excited. He's doing a handstand. I can't do that. He is going to play with his friends. He says goodbye to his dad, and he's on his way. Bye, Dad. He lives in a treehouse. Look at what a good listener Bambi is. Oh, yes, thank you. Listening so nicely, but you're in the way. Your friends are going to get mad. Sit down. Rory arrives at the beach and sees... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and sees his friends, Hank and Vera. Hank has a surprise. He says, I got a pet, and his name is Sheldon. Sheldon the Hermit Crab. So cute. Sheldon is so much fun. He likes to play fetch. Okay, now bring it back, Sheldon. Don't think that he can carry that frisbee all by himself, though. I don't know. And he likes to play hide-and-seek. There he is! They're having so much fun, but it's time for his friends to go home now. And Hank is saying, I think you need a bath, Sheldon. He got very, very dirty. Look at that sucker stuck to him and all that dirt and mud. Rory says goodbye. On his walk home, Rory thinks about how fun Sheldon is. And he thinks, I'm going to find a pet too. Rory begins to search for a pet. He goes back to the beach, but all he finds are empty shells. And here he is holding up an empty like snail shell. And he's saying, anyone in here? He looks in the jungle, but he can't reach any of the animals there. I see a snake, and a little bluebird, and a lemur, and a toucan, and I don't know what that is. Maybe a squirrel. Some animals are too fast. Very fast. Some are too busy. He's looking at some ants, and he says, guys? They're carrying some leaves back to their nest. And others don't want to be a pet at all. Would you like to be my pet? Nope. It starts getting late, and Rory has to go home for dinner. He says, oh well, I guess I just won't find a pet today. Ooh, but look what happens. He's walking by a palm tree, and a coconut falls off. Looks like he has an idea. Let's see what his idea is. Rory races back to the treehouse. Dad, he followed me home. Can I keep him? Looks like his dad was in the middle of cooking dinner. Hmm. I wonder what his dad will say. Oh, dad must have said yes. Rory names his new pet George. And here's the things he's doing to take care of George. Got him a box, wrote his name on it, gave him a bowl of water, he drew those nice pictures to hang by his box. George is so much fun. Just like Sheldon, he likes to play fetch. Great job, George. And he likes to play hide and seek. And Rory is thinking, hmm, where is he hiding? Do you see him? And he loves playing dress up. And he loves bath time. 
It's time for bed now, so Rory and George put their pajamas on. Rory is so happy. He wanted to find a pet to love. And one found him instead. They're reading a bedtime story. The end. Oh, and look at what I just noticed on the back. Oh, it's kind of glary. He made a sign that says, Wanted a pet to love. I'm glad that he found what he was looking for. Well, update, I still miss you guys. I hope that you had another wonderful day. It was kind of chilly today. I don't know if you would have played outside or not. I can't wait to hear about all the things you did at home when we get back to school. So for now, we'll say bye to Bambi. Goodbye. She really liked that book at the beginning, but then she laid down. That was much nicer. That would have been hard to read. All right. Bye, friends.